So here on the operating trolley again, we have another Nissan Leaf battery. This one's a very tired 30 kilowatt hour that I'll break to get the modules out of it to build solar storage. And then the empty battery case, which will have its BMS and all the cable and everything will be a perfect candidate for fitting cattle type cells. So we're going to go for this one. I'm going to show you everything on it, even down to dismantling the individual modules out of the system and strength testing them with the uh, specific tester that I have, which charges them up and does a drop test on them afterwards. So yeah, here we go. The first step, predictably, is to put some of the fantastic rust off rust remover onto all the bolts so that we've got a chance of getting them out without them snapping. This one's quite rusty, so I'll give them a day or so to soak in. We're going to have to take the six bolts out of this aluminium ceiling plate as well. But before I even touch it, I'm going to remove the cutoff switch. Sometimes they come up easily. Sometimes these spikes at the outside get a bit difficult. So I'm just going to get a tool onto that. It's always useful to know how these work, just in case you need to shut your battery off at any stage. The first part of it is just a lift, but it does have these little plastic clips, which can be a little bit sticky when they get a bit old. I'm going to use a little lever underneath the back of it just to get it going, and then I'll show you the second stage. So rather than breaking my fingernails or anything, just put a little pry bar underneath there and it started coming up. That then lifts up part of the weight. It's still very stiff. When it gets to about this height, you need to release the second safety catch, which is here, and that's locking in down underneath. So when you press that one further in, this will go all the way up to vertical. Once that's done, it just draws off. What I like to do once I've got them off is just spray a bit of silicon lube in both sides, and it just makes it much easier to fit and remove later on. So all we need is a 10 mil ratchet. I use an air ratchet because it just saves a lot of time. And I have this magnetic dish that I can put all the bolts in. There are two different types of bolt on these. Uh, the corner bolts are different to the middle bolts. The middle bolts have stepped kind of shoulders on them to make sure that it pulls down just the right amount. The corner bolts where the surfaces go together, they're just straight threaded bolts, but it's worth remembering for when you put it back together.